Jersey, and I'm Marta, and we're taking part in the BBC and reporters. We're going to be answering a couple questions about the collapse of Flybe, uh, an airport company. Okay, so how many flights were cancelled? Sources say that around 1,700 were cancelled. And how many jobs were there lost? Apparently, 2,000 jobs were lost. Okay, so were people stranded? From the sources we know, some of, a, lot, a lot of the people were stranded, so they had to get another flight to their country of homes. How has this affected the passengers? Well, one of the passengers, we know that he came to the airport and finded out that his, his flight was cancelled. He's supposed to go to Paris to his wife for a Christmas present, but sadly, he was shocked and sad from, from the thing that happened. And on, from the Spell Academy teacher, we know that she had a flight and it was also cancelled, so she had to get another flight, which cost her £200 more. The struggle, the struggle of which air of Flybe has collapsed, leaving passengers stranded and told to find their sadly their own way home. Flybe customers are urged to make their alternative bus, train or, or coach via other airlines to reach their destinies. Flybe has major presence air, air, at airports such as Aberdeen, Belfast City, Manchester and Southampton and flies some 9 million people around the continent. The Times says the failure of Flybe would affect UK as it had 54,744 flights around the continent, continent in the year. Flybe's network included more than half of the British uh, domet domestic network. In the airline was also struggling to pay the airline passenger duty known as APD tax of flight. It is the second UK based airline in six months to fail the Tom after Thomas Cook went bust in September. On the other side, it's a big loss of country, but on the other hand, it's a opportunity for small flight companies to go big. There was lost about two, 29 billion pounds because of the con Cancelling the airports. Flybe is a large airline serving 57 airports. Thank you.